Leachate is an issue in waste management facilities across Australia and indeed across the world. When waste breaks down and then comes into contact with rainfall, it forms leachate. Darwin has a lot of leachate because of the significant rainfall within Darwin. You can imagine the rainfall passing through the landfill profile and becoming contaminated on that way through. It's crucial that waste management facilities capture the leachate effectively and then process that leachate so that none of those contaminants can get into the environment. The Water and Carbon Group responded to the City of Darwin's expression of interest. They realised they had a legacy issue with their leachate. We recommended that a pilot plant be established given some of the complexities. Through that process we actually discovered the PFAS within the leachate. PFAS is commonly known to be in firefighting foams, but it's also in a lot of other products, including household products such as non-stick fry pans. And the problem with them is that they're uh, harmful to humans, harmful to the ecology, and they persist in the environment. And so you can imagine that these are all placed in landfill, and then that can generate PFAS within leachate in landfill systems. The leaf system extracts the PFAS using a foam fractionation process and then it moves into a biological treatment process and then that water is now fit for uh, irrigation and that's the final step but as a buffer to the process we run it through a constructed wetland where it passively treats any of the remaining nitrates and heavy metals. The vetiver grass has been used as the final disposal pathway. It's a closed loop so there is zero discharge from this treatment plant. The water that we can reuse that comes out of the leachate treatment plant is used for irrigation on top of our landfill cell site at stage three and four, where the vetiver grass is drawing up those nutrients and further cleaning that water as part of the process. We developed a technology here on site through the pilot plant. The Shoal Bay leachate treatment plant is a actually a world first in treating PFAS in leachate. It's a nearly closed system, which is actually a proprietary process. So us and Water and Carbon Group are the leaders in uh, leachate treatment. So the artwork is a terrific feature here on the site at Shoal Bay. We approached Jason and Trent Lee and Proper Creative, Larrakia Nation uh, also were involved. We are here to protect that natural environment that surrounds us and the artwork there is a daily emotive reminder of that fact. This new leachate facility meets the very strict standards that the EPA set for us and during the commissioning phase we've had some very good water quality results come back that actually exceed those requirements. So we're on track to be protecting the environment down at Shell Bay. Landfills around the world all have leachate and deal with uh, this wastewater and they contain PFAS and it's a credit to the city of Darwin that they've taken this step forward to deal with the issue. The thing I really like about this project is that it uses an innovative technology that's chemical free. It's all about innovation within the Northern Territory that can also be applied across other cities within Australia and even internationally. We might have spent $30 million, but once again I ask you, what is the price you put on your environment? My environment, your children and grandchildren environment.